In 1989, IBM scientists accomplished a remarkable feat. They manipulated 35 individual xenon atoms to form the letters IBM on a cooled nickel surface. Using a tunneling microscope, they moved each atom precisely, creating a structure just 5 nanometers high. This demonstration not only proved the ability to manipulate individual atoms, but also paved the way for the development of nanotechnology. Quantum computing is based on principles of quantum mechanics, such as superposition and entanglement. Whereas classical bits represent zero or one, qubits can be in both states simultaneously, thanks to superposition. This allows quantum computers to process a massive amount of calculations in parallel. Entanglement is another crucial quantum phenomenon. When two qubits are entangled, the state of one instantly affects the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. This property is fundamental for communication and processing in quantum systems. However, quantum computing poses significant challenges, especially regarding encryption current systems, such as RSA, depend on the difficulty of factoring large prime numbers. Sufficiently advanced quantum computers could perform this factoring quickly, compromising the security of banking data, passwords, and other sensitive information Experts warn of the so-called Q-Day, the moment when quantum computers will be able to break current encryptions. This could expose a vast amount of confidential data, from government information to personal records. Companies and governments are racing to develop encryption methods resistant to quantum computing before this day arrives. The race to achieve quantum supremacy is well underway. Companies such as Google, IBM and Microsoft are heavily investing in the development of functional quantum computers. Recently, Google announced a significant breakthrough in quantum error correction, one of the major hurdles in building practical quantum computers. Meanwhile, Microsoft unveiled the Majorana 1, a quantum chip based on a new state of matter created from topological conductors. This advancement promises to accelerate the development of functional quantum computers in a few years. However, despite these advancements, there are still significant challenges to overcome. Building stable and scalable quantum computers requires maintaining qubits in delicate quantum states, which is extremely difficult due to their sensitivity to external disturbances. Moreover, quantum error correction remains an active and essential research field for the progress of quantum computing. The threat that quantum computing poses to current encryption is real and imminent. Organizations such as the National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, are working on developing post-quantum encryption algorithms to protect data from future quantum attacks. The transition to these new security standards is complex and requires careful planning on the part of companies and governments. In summary, quantum computing is advancing rapidly, bringing both opportunities and challenges. While promising to revolutionize areas like material simulation and artificial intelligence, it also threatens the security systems that protect our most sensitive information. Preparation for the Q-Day is crucial to ensure that we can reap the benefits of quantum computing without compromising global data security. Quantum computing is rapidly advancing, bringing with it a significant threat to the security of current data. Cyber criminals are already taking advantage of this evolution, adopting the Harvest Now, Decrypt Later strategy. They intercept and store encrypted data today, with the intention of decrypting it in the future, when quantum computers are sufficiently advanced to break current encryptions. This prospect has propelled companies and governments to invest billions in the development of post-quantum cryptography. This new approach seeks to create algorithms resistant to attacks by quantum computers, using mathematical principles that remain safe even in the face of quantum processing power. The transition to post-quantum cryptography systems is complex and challenging. It requires not just updating technology infrastructures, but also training specialized teams and the implementation of global regulations that ensure interoperability and data security in a post-quantum scenario. Some institutions are adopting crypto agility, which is the ability to rapidly switch between different encryption methods. This flexibility allows organizations to adapt to new emerging threats, quickly implementing more robust encryption solutions as necessary. Meanwhile, ordinary users have little control over this transition. The responsibility largely falls on governments and corporations to ensure that critical infrastructures and personal data are protected in the quantum era. It is essential that these entities act proactively to mitigate the risks associated with quantum computing. The urgency of this adaptation is emphasized by the growing ability of quantum computers. 
Although we are still in the early stages of this technology, the rapid pace of development suggests that the ability to break traditional encryptions could become a reality sooner than many predict. Additionally, international collaboration is crucial. The global nature of the internet and digital communications means that vulnerabilities in one country can have repercussions worldwide. Therefore, it is crucial that there is a coordinated effort among nations to establish post-quantum encryption standards and share information about threats and solutions. Research in post-quantum cryptography has already identified several promising approaches, such as lattice-based algorithms, error correction codes, and hash functions. These methods are being evaluated by organizations like the US, National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, to determine their viability and effectiveness in protecting against quantum attacks. However, the implementation of these new algorithms is not trivial. Many legacy systems depend on encryption protocols that are not compatible with the new techniques, requiring a complete overhaul of IT infrastructures. Moreover, the performance of these new algorithms may differ from the current ones, impacting the efficiency of critical systems. Awareness about the quantum threat also needs to be expanded. Many organizations do not fully understand the risks or fail to prioritize the transition to quantum resistant systems. Educational campaigns and clear guidelines can help to accelerate the adoption of appropriate security measures. In summary, the impending era of quantum computing presents significant challenges to information security. Proactive actions, investments in research and development, and global collaboration are essential to ensure that our data remains protected in a future where quantum processing power becomes a reality. Quantum computing is on the verge of revolutionizing the field of artificial intelligence AI, in ways that once seemed impossible. By exploiting the principles of quantum mechanics, this technology promises to overcome current limitations and open new frontiers for machine learning and other AI applications. Currently, advanced AI models such as deep learning ones face significant challenges due to the need to process vast volumes of data. These models with billions of parameters require specialized hardware, such as high-performance graphics processing units GPUs, making their use prohibitive for many due to high costs and operational complexity. Quantum computing introduces a new approach by using qubits, which, unlike classical bits, can represent the states 0 and 1 simultaneously. This feature allows quantum computers to process multiple possibilities at the same time, potentially solving complex problems in a fraction of the time needed for traditional computers. For instance, tasks that currently would take years to complete could be performed in minutes with quantum computing. In the context of AI, many algorithms can be adapted to take advantage of the parallelization capabilities of quantum computing. Problems such as root optimization, analysis of large datasets, and pattern recognition could greatly benefit from this capability. The ability to simultaneously process various potential solutions allows AI models to find more accurate answers in less time. However, not all AI challenges are easily solved by quantum computing. Problems that depend on a specific sequence of events or that require complete knowledge of previous states to predict future states, such as certain financial analyses or complex time series, may not benefit in the same way. In these cases, the dependence on sequential data limits the effectiveness of quantum parallelization. Moreover, the integration of quantum computing with AI faces significant technical obstacles. The fragility of qubits is one of the main challenges, as they are highly susceptible to external interferences, such as temperature variations and electromagnetic radiation. This sensitivity can lead to decoherence, where qubits lose their quantum properties, resulting in errors in calculations. Therefore, it's essential to develop effective error correction methods to ensure the reliability of quantum systems. The scarcity of qualified professionals is another challenge. Quantum computing requires advanced knowledge in quantum physics, mathematics, and computer science. Currently, there is a lack of specialists with this combination of skills, which may slow progress in the field. Investments in education and training are crucial for shaping the next generation of professionals capable of driving this technology. Compatibility between quantum and classical systems is also a concern. Integrating quantum computers into existing infrastructures requires the development of new IT architectures and communication protocols. This integration must be carefully planned to avoid security vulnerabilities and ensure operational efficiency. Leading companies in the tech sector are heavily investing in the research and development of quantum computing applied to AI. 
For instance, Google AI has been exploring quantum algorithms to enhance its machine learning capabilities. Other companies like IBM and Microsoft are also developing quantum hardware and software, aiming to integrate this technology into various applications, including AI. The collaboration between quantum computing and AI is not a one-way street. While quantum computing can speed up AI algorithms, machine learning techniques are also being employed to improve the performance of quantum systems. For example, AI algorithms can assist in correcting quantum errors and optimizing quantum circuits, creating a virtuous cycle of mutual enhancement research in quantum machine learning, which combines quantum principles with AI techniques, is advancing rapidly. Recent studies demonstrate that quantum neural networks can outperform their classical counterparts in certain tasks, offering greater efficiency and precision. These advances suggest that, in the future, we may see the emergence of quantum AI systems capable of solving currently inaccessible problems. However, it is important to acknowledge that quantum computing is still in its early stages. Although the progress is promising, many technical and theoretical challenges need to be overcome before we can witness a widespread adoption of this technology. The scientific community continues to work hard to turn the potential of quantum computing into practical reality. In summary, the intersection between quantum computing and artificial intelligence offers a horizon filled with possibilities. As we overcome current challenges, this collaboration has the potential to redefine the boundaries of what is possible in computer science and beyond quantum computing is often presented as the next big technological revolution. However, behind the optimistic headlines, there are significant challenges that question the viability of this technology. One of the main obstacles is the extreme sensitivity of qubits, the basic units of quantum information. These subatomic particles are so fragile that even minimal interactions with the environment can corrupt their states, leading to errors in calculations. To avoid this, Quantum computers need to operate at temperatures close to absolute zero, which requires complex and expensive equipment. Moreover, quantum error correction is an ongoing field of research, as current methods are still not sufficiently effective for practical applications. Scalability is another critical challenge. While companies like IBM have developed quantum processors with over 100 qubits, we are still far from the thousands or millions of qubits needed for quantum computing to surpass classical computers in complex tasks. Building such large systems runs into significant technical and financial limitations. Beyond the technical difficulties, there are profound theoretical issues quantum computing is based on quantum mechanics, a theory that, despite being successful in many aspects, still presents inconsistencies when we try to reconcile it with Einstein's theory of general relativity. These two pillars of modern physics describe the universe in incompatible ways, and this discrepancy raises doubts about the theoretical foundation of quantum computing. Some physicists suggest that part of the theoretical basis of quantum mechanics may be flawed. For example, the infinite sum of all natural numbers results in a negative fractional value, 1 water 12, a result that, while mathematically useful in certain areas, does not have a clear physical meaning. These mathematical peculiarities cast shadows over the interpretation and practical application of quantum theory. Faced with these challenges, some alternative approaches are being explored. String theory, for example, seeks to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity, proposing that fundamental particles are actually tiny vibrating strings in a multidimensional space. Although promising, this theory still lacks experimental evidence and remains highly speculative. Another line of research is loop quantum gravity, which attempts to quantize space-time without resorting to extra dimensions, proposing that the very fabric of space-time has a discrete structure at extremely small scales. Again, this theory faces both theoretical and experimental challenges. Meanwhile, companies and governments continue to invest billions in the development of quantum computing, often exaggerating advances to attract investment and media attention. This discrepancy between the reality of the laboratories and market expectations could lead to a bubble of inflated expectations, similar to what happened with other emerging technologies in the past. In summary, while quantum computing holds transformative potential, the technical and theoretical challenges are immense. The promise of machines capable of solving problems intractable for classical computers is still distant, and it is essential to approach current limitations with realism and caution.